Hi everybody, I hope that you got my post that I was going live tonight. Um, I will do that again next week as a reminder. I'm going to aim for every Wednesday at nine o'clock Central Standard Time. Um, I had had two different recommendations. One was to put up a post saying that I was going live at a specific time and the other was to do a short video. So if you saw that post, let me know. If not, the next time um, I will do just kind of like a short video the day before and let you know that I was planning on going live. So basically what I have for you guys tonight is I told you last week kind of where I'd been, what I'd been doing and how much my makeup collection had decreased. And so what I'm gonna show you today is my everyday makeup basket. This is the basket that sits on the shelf in my bathroom and I pull it down every day. This is what I use. I switch it out every so often, but I don't have a ton of stuff to switch out. And you'll see it is really, pretty full of stuff. So I don't have to switch out very often. So I'll just kind of start and go through and show you what I have in here. I actually have every single one of my foundations that I still have um, in this basket and they just kind of sit on one end. And this one is just about through. I have the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Breathable Foundation. Um, and I know you guys like to know the colors. I have this in classic ivory. This is perfect for me during the winter and you can see it's really, I'm kind of scraping on the sides now. And I really like that foundation. I think that it's absolutely fantastic. I like using my moisturizer underneath it as a primer. And in fact, um, I've pretty much just been using my moisturizer as a primer lately because I am completely out of primers and I'm trying not to buy stuff that I don't really need. So next week, um, I will show you my whole skincare routine that I'm doing now. I just got this um, recently. My skin has been really, really dry this winter and I was looking for something that was maybe a little bit more hydrating. So this is the uh, Maybelline Fit Me, um, the Dewy Plus Smooth. And I have this in uh, Classic Ivory 120. So I really, really like this one as well. In fact, I actually like it a little bit better than the Rimmel, but it doesn't have a pump and that's the only thing that I don't like. And the pump that I had um, that I was using for non-pump foundations is it was time to retire it. It just wasn't cleaning very well anymore. So I need to order another one. I just haven't done it yet. And then I have the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Foundation. I, I like this one okay. I have this in Natural Ivory, which is a really great color for me. I like it okay, but when my skin is really, really dry, I think it looks cakey. I really wanna try the new um, L'Oreal one, but it has not shown up in my Walmart yet. So I wear this on days where my skin feels really nice and hydrated. I do put um, my serum and my moisturizer on <laughs> underneath this, but I use it for days where I just feel like my skin doesn't look as great and I need a little bit more coverage. But I'm not just, I'm not really thrilled with it. I, I won't be repurchasing again when it runs out. And then the last one I have is this one. Um, my sister just brought this for me and I know everything's backwards because I'm using my phone for the live. Um, but my sister just got me this. She had a free coupon. This is the Ulta Beauty Youthful Glow Foundation Serum Drops. And I have it in light, fair to light neutral. I've only used this once so far and I actually really liked it. Um, it is um, a little dropper foundation. I think the color works pretty well. It definitely wouldn't work for me in the summer once I have a little bit of color to my skin, but I applied this directly on, you know, my brush that looks like a toothbrush and I think it applied beautifully. So I'll let you know more about my thoughts on that once I've tried it some more. Um, then in here I have this little basket that has kind of a bunch of other stuff in there that I use. I have my concealers that I use in here and I've got two in here right now. I'm working on finishing up this Maybelline Fit Me 
in Fair, number 15. I really like this one. I think that it applies beautifully. It does a good job covering up my circles. Um, the price is good. I don't have a whole lot of high-end stuff, really, honestly, anymore. There's a few things that I've been willing to pay for um, and get some extra things, but for the most part, I've been, I've just really been using stuff up, and most of my high-end stuff is gone, or like I told you last week, I sold a lot of my high-end palettes um, to pay for a plumbing problem. But in, I'll do, in two weeks, I will do a, um, I'll give you kind of a tour of what's left in my makeup collection. But I have two concealers that are in here, the Maybelline Fit Me, and then I have the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Breathable um, Concealer in Fair. I really like this one too. I, I can't really pick one over the other. I think that they both do pretty much the same thing. Just one is a doe fit applicator and the other one has kind of the little ball on the end where you squeeze it out. But I like both of these really well. Um, and I do set them because my under eye tends to be a little bit oily. So to set my under eye right now, I'm using the Wet n Wild uh, Mega Glow Contouring Palette. And I would really like to finish this off. So right now I'm using this lighter side to set my under eye and that's really all I use it for. The bronzer on this side, if you if I show this to you in a couple of weeks, you know, a month, you're not going to see any progress on this because I cannot use this color until the summer and this is in Dolce de Leche. So, that's what I'm using to set my under eye. Um, and I use, this is a, it needs to be washed, but um, this is a Mary Kay um, blending sponge that I got for Christmas from my mom who sells Mary Kay. And I use that to put that concealer on. I don't use it for foundation because I like using a brush butter for foundation. But that is in there as well. Okay, for the rest of face, um, I don't keep as much stuff in my everyday Makeup basket, oh, I do have one more concealer. I just bought this um, because I saw it, I was returning some um, a foundation that I had bought to Ulta that I just, I didn't really think it was worth the money. I'll tell you all about that in another video, but I saw this and I picked it up because I am just about out of this one. I'll probably finish this up within a week or two. So I went ahead and purchased the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear. I've heard so much about this and I've tried it once so far. And I have to say that I, I think that all three of these are really similar, but I will do a whole separate video reviewing that. If you guys wanna see a whole separate video just on these three concealers, drop me a comment down below, let me know, because I'm really, I'm just not seeing a whole lot of difference and I've not tried this chart. Tarte Shape Tape, which I think everybody is comparing the Infallible to, but it works pretty much the same on me as the Rimmel and the Maybelline Fit Me. Oh, and I've got this in 340 Fawn is the color that I bought it in. Okay, for the rest of face, um, I don't set any of the foundations that I've been wearing with the exception of the serum drops. I did find, I did feel like I needed to set that. So I pulled out my Bare Minerals. Um, I don't know what this is called. It's a translucent powder duo and it's got a matte powder in it and the matte powder and then it's got the illuminating powder in there and I pretty much use that illuminating powder and that's what I used to set my face the one day that I tried that and then I'm working on my NARS and um, this is one of the blush um, bronzer duos and this is the blush in orgasm and the bronzer in Laguna so I just you can't really see it unless you look super super close but today I just hit like barely visible pan in this bronzer. So I'll be working on this for a while, working on using this bronzer up. I know the blush is not gonna go anywhere fast because I don't I don't really dig into products. It takes me a long time to use them up um, because I generally just kind of do a light application. And then for highlighter, which I do not wear highlighter every single day. Um, if I'm kind of in a hurry, this is like the thing that I skip, I will be perfectly honest. Um, 
And when I'm wearing a, a blush like Orgasm that already has some shimmer to it, I just don't feel like I need it. I don't feel like that it, it adds a whole lot to my look, but I've had this cold or allergies or something for the last couple weeks, and that's kind of when I tend to wear highlighter is when I don't feel my best, and I think that it kind of just gives me a little bit of extra, that little bit of extra that makes me look like I feel better than I do. So I've been using the Mary Luminizer from The Balm, and um, you can see there's not a whole lot of pan progress on there and I've had this for a long time so I'm very very gentle with using that um okay for brows I am I'm really pretty simple with brows if you guys watched my videos in the past you know that I prefer a powder I don't really use pencils or anything like that I actually only have two I think brow products left in my entire collection they are both the um, Anastasia brow powder duos and I'm using the one in Auburn right now because I've been alternately dyeing my hair red and purple or reddish purple or something like that so I use this consistently every single day to do my brows I use the darker color um, closer to the inner side and then I use the lighter color around the outside to fill in Obviously what I'm doing is working. I will tell you the makeup that I have right on right now. I know we're not in like an HD high quality. This is a live video, um, but with the exception of my lipstick, I have done absolutely nothing to my makeup in 13 hours. So this, this is working. This the set, setting that the setup that I have going right now works. I don't have to fuss with it. I don't have to think about anything in the morning. And I tell you what, that has been such a relief. It has been a burden sort of lifted off of me versus trying to think up what in the heck am I going to do today? Um, all right, let's go to eyes. So eyes, I do have a quite lot of different palettes and things in this little box. Um, a lot of that is because I got a couple of palettes for Christmas that I've been asking for and I got some gift cards and I use those to buy eyeshadow palettes for Christmas and so those are, that is what is in here is all the stuff that I have gotten um, Christmas time and then there's one palette that I purchased. Um, other than that because I, <sighs> Basically what I've decided to do lately is reward myself. So instead of just going out and being like, ooh, I want that, ooh, I want that, ooh, I want that, and then having all of this makeup that sits around that I don't use, I have been thinking about what I really want. I've been trying to replace things as I've used them up. Um, for example, I had, I had four foundations. I will probably narrow this down to two, like a medium coverage and a little bit more fuller coverage and just stick with those two. Um, and then if something like just comes out and I really want to try it, I will let myself try it. Um, but I'm not trying to go out and purchase everything that's new. I don't think that I need every single foundation that comes out. I don't think that I need every single concealer that comes out. If I have something and I love it and it's working, I'm going to stick with it. If I hear about something like the L'Oreal Infallible, I just kept hearing about it everywhere and I hadn't bought anything new in, a, in quite a while in in that particular area, so I decided to try it. Um, but I did buy one eyeshadow palette as a reward to myself for meeting a personal goal, um, and I didn't spend a ton of money. So that's kind of where I am with eyeshadow palettes. Um, I will, you know, I'm gonna set a goal for myself, a personal goal, and if I meet that goal, then I will allow myself to purchase something and it might not always be makeup. Um, you know, I met my goal at the end of last year and um, I purchased a couple of books for my Kindle. So it's not always going to be makeup that I purchase, but I like having something that kind of motivates me to achieve those personal goals, if that makes sense. Okay, so back to eyes. Um, I am using the Milani eyeshadow primer. Right now, I just use it every day. I really love it. I like this one and the Wet n Wild. Hi, Amber. I've only tried the L'Oreal one time so far. Um, I just got it Monday night, and my first impression is that I don't think that it's any different than like the Maybelline Fit Me. 
um, or the, what was the other one? The Rimmel Lasting Finish. I, I didn't see something like that just really wowed me, but I've only tried it once. So I will, I'm gonna keep working with it and um, I'll, I'll update you when I, when I know more. Um, but this Milani one, the Wet n Wild Photo Finish one, I really like those. They're very inexpensive. They last forever. And so I just kind of stick with those. I'm not really particular about my eye primer. I just want it to make my eyeshadow stick. And so that's what I've been using. Then in my little basket of stuff here, um, I have a couple of single eyeshadows. I've got my Wet n Wild... Um, you know, that single eyeshadow that everybody just loves. And I don't even think I can see, I don't even know what color this is anymore. It's completely worn off, but it's just a really great base shade. Um, I do like to put just kind of a base color all over my lid before I do my shadows. And I've got a couple of palettes in here that don't have kind of just that base color. So brulee thank you um so i always keep this in my everyday makeup basket because it's a great fill-in um for other palettes and then i've got this vincent longo i got this this is in novally it's a pearl ombre pearl eyeshadow and i got this in a subscription box like quite a while ago but this color is just it is so gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and so I just, I keep this in here. I only, these are the only single eyeshadows that I have left in my collection. I've gotten rid of everything else because I just don't use them. But this one is so pretty. So I keep that one in there. And then I like to use it with this NYX Punk Heart single eyeshadow, which I also got in a subscription box, which is really, really cool. And I think that those two, I can use these two with that Wet n Wild shadow and I've got just a great look and I don't have to pull out a palette. I don't have to do anything. It's just there. So those kind of live in there. And then I'll show you the, the other eye stuff I have in here and then we'll talk palettes. I've got my handy dandy trusty CoverGirl eyelash curler. Cheap, easy to replace, works great. I've ne I've tried several different eyelash curlers over the year and I don't really see a big difference in one for the other. So I just stick with that one because it's available at my Walmart and it's easy to find. Um, for eyeliner, I only have two in here. This one is getting to the end of its life and in fact, I've actually broken it at this point. But this is the Ciate, um, I even read it. It's just a Ciate um, Wonder Wonder Wand is what it is, and it's just a black gel pencil. I use this to do my upper waterline. I don't do my lower waterline anymore because I have never found a product that stays there. So I just don't do it. So I just use this on my upper waterline every single day. I love it. It stays put, and I won't be I won't be repurchasing it just because I have like. 50 other of these that I've gotten in subscription boxes over the years, and I'm just gonna use those up before I purchase anything. But, you know, in, what, 50 years when I use up all the black eyeliners that I have, that is, this is my favorite one out of my whole collection is that Ciate one. And then I've got the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner Trooper Black. This is a staple. It doesn't matter, I love this eyeliner. It's 20 bucks, but the last one that I had lasted me a year before it started to run out. And so I will continue to repurchase this because it stays all day, it's easy to do. I love the brush application. I just don't see any reason to try liquid liner after liquid liner when I've got one that I absolutely love and I'm just gonna stick with it. For mascara, I am down to two. I have two mascaras left in my collection and that is it. And I will stick to these two until the end of time. Um, I do have a sample of something that I picked, that I got at Ulta the other day. I will be, try it, but nothing that I have ever tried has worked better than these two. Um, I've got the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, which we all know gives you the doll eyes. And I know some people don't like this because they find it flaky and clumpy. I've never had that problem. Um, I did try the L'Oreal Lash Paradise and I hated it. 
I don't think that it's anything like this. I did a video about it last year when that mascara came out. Um, I don't think that they are similar at all. The formulas are completely different and the Lash Paradise is ridiculously impossible to remove. So I will stick with the Better Than Sex because I absolutely love that. And then I also have the L'Oreal Voluminous. Um, this is the original. And it, I have tried umpteen million drugstore mascaras and nothing compares to this one. This is just a great everyday mascara. It gives me length, it gives me volume. I don't ever expect a mascara to ever give me curl because I've never found one that does. So I'm just gonna stick with these two and call it a day. So that's everything in that little basket and all of the face products. So I actually have six, I have six eyeshadow palettes in my little everyday basket. And the reason why I have six is because I got, I got two of them for Christmas. Um, and then I got a gift card to Ulta for Christmas and I purchased three more eyeshadow palettes with that. And then I had the one eyeshadow palette that I bought myself as a reward. So I will start with um, the ones that I got for Christmas. I got the, and I know everything's backwards cause it's phone. The Huda, Huda Beauty Amethyst Obsessions. I absolutely adore this palette. I don't think that it's a standalone. I do need that wet and wild um, base color to go with it, but I absolutely love this. I think that the colors are beautiful. It gives me kind of a wow look, but I've really enjoyed it. Um, I will be honest with you. I have not looked up reviews on any of these palettes, so I don't know what anybody else thinks, but I personally absolutely love it. Um, I would love to get some more Huda Beauty eyeshadows because I think that they blend really well. I do think that the, the price is a little bit higher than the other palettes that I have in here because I have a lot. They're mostly ColourPop. And then this is the other one that I got for Christmas, the ColourPop Fortune palette. Love the colors in here too. I Part of the reason why I asked for this palette is because it's got the burgundies and the purples and things like that that I'm really comfortable with. But then it's got some of these warmer colors over here that I tend to not wear. Oh, it's not showing up backwards for you. Okay, because on my, when I look in my thing, it's backwards. Well, maybe YouTube is nicer than Facebook and it flips everything around. That is very good to know. But I am really, really trying to um, use more warm shades. Every time that I wear this um, one called Reach or that orangey color, I get compliments. And it's a color that's so outside of my comfort zone. So this has been really fun because I can reach for it and I know I can do something I'm comfortable with and I can do something outside of my comfort zone. Then I have three other color pop palettes that I got with my gift card for Christmas. One of them I bought because I knew that I would love it and the other two I bought because I was really enjoying the um, Fortune palette that I got, really loving the ColourPop eyeshadows. It's the first ColourPop palette that I've had. And so I picked these up because I could get all three of them with the gift card that I had. So the one that I got that's totally in my comfort zone is Sweet Nothings. And I know ColourPop comes out with something new like every five minutes, but I don't need everything. So this is those purples burgundies that I am really just comfortable with. I think this is a complete palette. I can do a complete look with it. Um, it's got a nice base shade in there. It's got a really great transition shade. This is the one that I use for a transition shade and it looks sparkly, but it's really just a, it's really a satin and these colors are just so beautiful and I can I can pick this up and I don't even have to think about it. I know exactly what to do with my eyes. The other two are a little bit outside of my comfort zone. I got Rendezvous, which I think Rendezvous and Sweet Nothings were like a kind of a duo um, that came out kind of all at the same time. So this has some of those colors that I'm really comfortable with. It's got this beautiful, beautiful bright pink in there, which I absolutely love. And I cannot stand how much I adore this blue. And I really wanted to play around with that blue. It's got a really nice matte 
purpley black in there. It's not a straight black, it's a purpley black. Great transition shades. The only thing that I will say about this palette is that these, um, these two matte colors right here are a lot darker than I expected. So when I put them on my eyes, they're, they show up a lot darker than I was anticipating. And then the last one I got is the Kathleen Lights Dream Street. And this one is so far outside of my comfort zone, it's not even funny. It's gold, it's browns, but these greens and this really pretty corally pink, they just caught my attention. And so I have been making myself use this mostly on the weekends, um, but I've been making myself use this because I absolutely love it. I do have the same problem as with the Rendezvous palette. These two matte shades down here show up a lot darker. Like I thought that this would be a really good transition shade and it it's almost too dark on my skin tone to use as a transition shade. But this has been really fun to play with and just absolutely loving those greens in there. And then the last one that I have in here, and again, I just, I literally, I just pull this down every day. I use what's in here and I switch it out with what's in my makeup drawer, maybe like once a month. So that's why there's so many eyeshadow palettes in here. But this is the palette that I bought myself for achieving my personal goal. And this is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette and it is Bling Boss. Right up my alley. Love, love, love these shades. This one is what really drew my attention along with this really bright purple. So the rest, I know exactly what to do with. But I have had so much fun playing with this Sparks color, that red color. I tried the um, the Anastasia Beverly Hills, the one that had all the red colors in it. And it just... It just didn't work with my skin tone. That reds in there just kind of made me look sick. And this one does not do that. I'm really, really having fun with it. And this bright purple rock star. This is just, this is a palette that I can pull out and I can use for every day for going to the office. But then I can have a lot of fun with it too. So I'm really glad that I purchased it. That is everything everything that is in my everyday makeup bin. I just grab it and go and I don't have to think about anything. I don't have to go through my whole makeup collection, which is really, really small at this point, and try to figure out what to wear. And the transition from constantly testing out, <clears throat> excuse me, cold, constantly testing out new makeup to using things every single day that I know are going to work has made my morning a lot less stressful because I'm not trying to think, okay, I've got 16 new products here in front of me. What do I think about these when I'm half asleep? Or then coming home, taking my makeup off after a full day of work and then redoing it. And that always made me feel like I was wasting product because I wasn't going anywhere. I wasn't doing anything except for filming a video. And it was really, really fun for a while, but then I, I just, I really started to feel like I was wasting product. So that is what I am sticking with. If you guys have any questions about the products that I'm using, or you think that there is something that needs to, um, absolutely be in my collection that I'm using for every day that you think that would really work for my skin tone or for my dry skin, let me know. Next week, I will be showing you the skincare routine that I'm using currently that I am absolutely in love with that is not high-end. I purchased just about everything at Sprouts. So it is very, very natural. It is working really great for my skin. I absolutely love it. Um, so I will walk you through that next week. And then in two weeks, I will show you what is left in my makeup collection. Then um, after I kind of show you each little thing every week, I'm going to move into a paparazzi live sale. And that is actually how I got the um, Morphe palette was I achieved my sales goal for January, which blew my mind. Um, 
But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move into a paparazzi live sale. You are welcome to leave if you want to. You're not gonna hurt my feelings. But if you are interested in these products, um, I will be here every Wednesday showing them to you. The great thing about them, and I'll cut it, I'll just give you a really quick recap of how I got into paparazzi. Um, I've been a customer for a couple of years now. My son's teacher sells it, and I had been buying from her. And I have the curse of losing earrings. I don't know how it happens. I will lay down on the couch, an earring will come out, and it is never seen again, even though I know it is in this house. And my sister had bought me some earrings I loved, my mother had bought me some earrings that I loved, and I had lost one of every single one of them. And so I started buying paparazzi from Olivia because I feel a lot less bad if I lose a $5 pair of earrings versus like a $30 pair of earrings, if that makes sense. Plus, I just, I love jewelry. I love to be able to accessorize my black wardrobe that I wear. I kind of have a uniform. I wear blue jeans and black and gray shirts. So, you know, when I put on a necklace like this or earrings, that's what kind of makes my outfit different. And I wore this shirt last week. I wore it the week before. I wore it the week before. I wore it the week before. Um, but I can change up my necklace for five bucks and it kind of makes a different outfit every week, if that makes sense. So, um, I've been doing live sales on Facebook since I joined in December. You're more than welcome to join me over on Facebook Tuesdays and Thursdays at nine o'clock. I have a VIP group. If you want to be added to that, go find me over on Facebook. I am Lindsay Duncan Chastain, and I will add you to that VIP group. You get to see everything that comes out as soon as it comes out, as soon as it arrives at my house. So you get first dibs on everything. I'm not gonna overload you with stuff tonight. We're just gonna do like a small handful of things. But the way that this works is very, very easy. I will show you a product, I'll tell you a little bit about it. I'll show you a number and if you want that, then you just comment the number down below. Um, I don't know yet what the delay is between you and me on Facebook or on YouTube. Um, I know what it is on Facebook, but I go by first come, first serve. I am also doing um, a deal in March, March Madness. So every single purchase that you make during the month of March gets you entered into a drawing to win five Five free pieces of jewelry and I do give away free jewelry quite often so I will just show you a couple of things I'll start off with the ring I have on actually let me get a drink really like, hmm. having a cold is like the worst when you're trying to talk 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 um, but I love the paparazzi rings for two reasons. One, they're $5. And for another thing, they have a stretchy band on the back. So one of the things that really bothers me with costume jewelry, like I wear my wedding, wedding ring every day. I wear my mother's ring every day, but those are sized for specific fingers. I don't ever change those. But with my costume jewelry, sometimes I like to wear it on this finger. Sometimes I like to wear it on this finger. Sometimes I like to wear it on the other hand. And with the stretchy bands, I don't ever have to worry about it's going to go for this finger alone because I don't have to resize it. So the stretchy bands fit sizes six through 10. If you need it smaller than that, which I do, I can show you, I can send you a quick video on how to make this smaller. Super, super easy. I've sized one down to fit an eight year old finger. So I have two of these rings available. Super, super cute with the red faceted gemstone there in the center, really catches the light. And then it's got white gemstones all the way around really really cute fun again that's one of those like outfit making pieces so that will be number 57 and i have two of those left uh, let me pull out some earrings i'll show you guys this setup at some point too it is so much fun because um, my husband brought home his extra toolbox from work and so now i'm like super cool because i have all my stuff in a toolbox earrings Earrings is the reason why I joined paparazzi and I have so many really, really super fun earrings. And again, I don't feel bad if I lose one because they're $5. Everything also, by the way, is lead and nickel free. So if you have allergies to lead and nickel, these are not going to bother you. I've been wearing paparazzi earrings every day for like two years, just about. I think I have one pair of non paparazzi earrings in my rotation and I have never had a problem with my ears. 
So this is one pair that I have, really, really fun. Teardrop shape, They're, they are silver, and then they have gunmetal stones. And look how those catch the light. Really, really fun. I absolutely love these. And every time I wear these, somebody goes, where did you get those? Because they're just, they're so sparkly. And I've got stuff that's kind of everyday wear like this, as well as some really sort of fashion forward and some really dress up stuff. So I have a couple of pairs of these left, and that will be 105. If you're watching the replay of this, um, you didn't see it live, instead of telling me the number that you want, screenshot the item and message it to me because I can't keep numbers because I do three, at least three lives a week. And if I tried to keep the numbers with everything, it would be a hot mess. So fashion forward stuff, you guys. I mean, look at these. This is like straight up 80s right here. And I can't stand how much I love it. They are plastic. Really, really cool. I mean, how fun is that? You can just like relive. For me, we live like my middle school and early high school days. How much fun are these? And you know, that's the other great thing about stuff like this. You can spend $5, you can have something that's really fun and in, and if it's not in next year, you spent $5 on it. And this is a post back, not a fish hook back really really cute i've got oh i've only got two pairs of those left and that's going to be number 71. i also have bracelets and i have necklaces so let's do a bracelet these these are probably one of my favorites that i have right now this is a stretchy bracelet you have seen bracelets like this all over the place and they go for a lot of money because they have a certain name tag on them. But these have an advantage over those. These have This one has a really pretty green marbleized beads on here, but then it also has a section of lava beads right here and three lava beads on the back. These lava beads you can use with essential oils. So you can put your, you know, drop of your essential oil on this lava bead, slap it on your wrist, and you've got your essential oil to wear with you all day long. If you're like me, and I know um, some of those essential oils I cannot put on my skin, or some of them you're not supposed to put on your skin. This is a great way to do it. Also, this one is for prosperity, which we could all use a lot more of, right? So I only have three of those left and that's gonna be number 87. And I think the only other lava bead one that I have is plain, plain black. My husband came in the front doors making funny faces at me. Um, it's the only, the only other lava bead one I have is plain black. It's got the lava beads on one side, plain black beads on the other, and then it is a slip clasp, not just a, not a stretchy bracelet. And this one is called Get Steady. So that's the one that, um, those are the two that I am wearing, the Prosperity and the Get Steady. Those are the ones that I am constantly wearing. Wrap bracelets are one of my absolute favorite things that we have because they are so stinking comfortable. So I, I'll show you a couple of the wrap bracelets. This one is in silver and it is a leather suede. It's a soft leather band, soft leather on the back. So super comfortable against your wrist. It has two buttons so you can adjust the size a little bit but then when you wear it, it looks like you have three bracelets on. And my best friend was actually wearing one of these at a bar a couple weeks ago that she got from me. She had it in brass instead of the silver, but she was wearing this at a bar. And someone who works at Swarovski Crystal asked her if it was Swarovski. Nope, it's five bucks. Super, super cute on that. I have three of those left, and that is 106. And then this one's a little bit narrower, but if you are kind of a rocker girl like me, 
This is the one that I wear almost on a daily basis. I love my my Alex and Ani bracelets, but when I'm when I'm going to work all day and I'm typing and stuff all day, they get in my way. You know what I mean? They're banging on my desk, they're getting in my way. So I wear rat bracelets to work every single day. This one has white gemstones on the two outer pieces, rectangles, and then the center has a chain going down it. So absolutely rocker chic, two buttons still, and you get that three, three bracelet look. And that'll be number 36. All right, let's do a couple of necklaces and we will call it a night. Like I said, if you want to see everything that I have available, you want first dibs, go over and find me on Facebook, Lindsay Duncan Chastain. If Facebook is working today, it hasn't, I've not been able to post anything on Facebook all day long. So if it's not working or I don't respond to you right away, just give me a little bit. We've had lots of storms and it's been crazy. But I can add you over to that VIP group. You can see everything that I have in my inventory. You can also shop my website, which is paparazziaccessories.com backslash 247042. Uh, 247042. I talk really fast sometimes. Okay, so the necklace that I have on is... This is all from the new spring collection, but this is a star lily, absolutely gorgeous. All of the necklaces come with matching earrings, and um, let me pull this one out so I can show it to you closer up. But it's got a red gemstone in the center, really pretty silver, weighs absolutely nothing. It's one of the things that I really enjoy because a lot of times like I'll go to Walmart or I'll go to Kohl's and I'll buy costume jewelry. I'm spending 30 or $40 and then I don't end up wearing it because the earrings are pulling down on my ears or the necklace is too heavy and it bothers me. So I like this stuff a lot because it looks really substantial, but it doesn't feel substantial. So beautiful, beautiful red gemstone there in the center just a little pop of color and of course it's got several of those and then the earrings match they have that same star lily with the red in the center so and you do get both the earrings and the necklace all for that five dollar price tag so that's all that you have to pay five dollars um that will be number 92 and i just have a couple of those left um, I do have short necklaces and long necklaces. Um, if you shop with me and you're buying from my inventory, I charge a flat $5 shipping. So no matter how many pieces that you order, um, I cr I'll get you a little shopping cart going and I invoice on Fridays, I ship on Mondays. So anything that you buy Saturday through Friday all goes on the same invoice. One shipping comes to you all at the same time, so I'm not charging you shipping for every single piece that you order. Um, you know, if you've, if it's Friday and you've picked out one piece, um, you know, and you want to hold it till the next week and do another shopping, that's fine. Just let me know. Um, but it's just flat $5 shipping. If you shop from my website, I think it's $5.95 and I, that's for no matter how much that you order. Let me pull out a long necklace here. This one is super fun. So super long necklace. And I've got necklaces in all different lengths. So please don't ever feel like you're bothering me or anything like that. If you want to message me and say, hey, I'm looking for something purple. Hey, I'm looking for something green. I need, um, you know, send me a picture of an outfit that you have and say, what honestly goes with this? And I will help you figure it out. Long necklaces, I really, really enjoy. So something's gonna hit you like right about there. This is kind of a really fun modern design. It's got all those silver chains hanging down, V shape right there, and then it's got white gemstones in this V up top. So really, really pretty. I love those long necklaces because you can wear them with just about anything. I love wearing long necklaces. Like I know we're getting into spring, but I love wearing them around a turtleneck. And then if you have a long necklace, you can also wrap it around like this and hook it through 
and wear it as a shorter necklace. So you kind of get two necklaces in one. At least that's the way I see it. And then the earrings are match those chains that hang down. This is the last one of these that I have. Just one left. And that will be 176. So are you guys liking this jewelry? Do you think that it's neat or, you know, I don't know. Leave me your comments down below. Let me know what you're thinking of it. That's all I'm gonna show you tonight. I don't wanna like overload you. Um, but you know, leave me some comments down below. Let me know if there's something that you wanna see next week after I show you my skincare. Let me know. I will pull out specific stuff, um, find it just for you, whatever you're requesting. Um, and I really appreciate any support that you give to this little small business that I started. Um, I started it because I love the jewelry and I was looking for something to do to replace um, my husband's reservist income. He just got out of the Navy um, after 12 years and so we needed to replace that little bit of income. And fortunately, I get to do something that is really, really fun that I love doing and help support my family. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart for any support that you give to me. And if you don't wanna buy anything, you're not gonna hurt my feelings at all. So don't feel bad about it. So I love you guys, I miss you guys. I had so much fun reading all of your comments last week. So I will see you next week, Wednesday, same time, 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. We will go over my skincare routine and then I will show you some more jewelry. Leave me some comments down below. Let's chat because I've really missed you guys. Bye.